Hello everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss about payment settlement process. So let's begin our session. Before we jump to the payment settlement process, let's see payment processing steps quickly. Payment processing from credit card or debit card happen in two steps. First is the authorization, second is the settlement. Authorization we already discussed in our previous video. So you can go and check the playlist to understand how authorization works so in authorization verification of various things like card holder details available amount in the credit card for the payment is done and card issuer bank put the hold on the amount so this is what happens in the authorization in settlement the amount is directed from card holder account on which hold was put during authorization and merchant receives the amount in the merchant account so in settlement only merchant get the amount in the account in authorization merchant do not get any amount in the account there is no movement of fund happen in the authorization only hold is put on the amount payment amount so this is the difference between these two authorization and settlement when customer place an order on the website when customer submit the payment detail on the website the authorization process is triggered at the back end if the authorization is successful then only website application allows customer to place an order if authorization is not successful then website does not allow customer to place an order so at the time of order placement the settlement does not happen in coming slides we will see when settlement happen or how that work now let's see the types of settlement so mainly there are two types of settlement process merchant initiated settlement and second is auto initiated set settlement the merchant initiated settlement is triggered by the merchant applications for example point of sale terminal initiate settlement or capturing request at end of the day web application system initiate the settlement when item is ready to be fulfilled or this can also be initiated from payment gateway dashboard initiation of the settlement process normally done through the api call so this is the merchant initiated settlement auto set, auto initiated settlement this settlement is initiated by payment gateway or payment processor automatically now let's see how the settlement process works for the e-commerce website i have drawn one diagram which is showing the settlement process for the e-commerce site as i already discussed in the previous slides that settlement triggers after the authorization is completed and when the authorization is completed when customer places the order so let's see how the settlement works here in the in the yellow box you can see the merchant so this is the merchant representing the merchant application step number one i have mentioned capture request settlement is also known as capture capture request when item is ready to be filled, fulfilled so merchant application triggers the settlement process or capture process when item is ready to be fulfilled and the the details is sent to the payment gateway after receiving the capture request payment gateway do the internal validations if request is fine it returns the response to the merchant application immediately then payment gateway creates the batch file related to settlement and this batch run every three to four hours or end of the day so payment gateway add the settlement details in the batch file and it sends to the payment processor for the further processing of the settlement once payment processor receives the settlement file the clearing process starts the payment processor sends the 
batch file to the card network for the further processing so in the clearing process all the calculation related to how much eSwing bank needs to transfer how much it needs to deduct the transaction fee so all these kind of calculation happen in the clearing process once the clearing process is completed card network send the clearing file to the eSwing bank this clearing file step number 5 contains the how much eSwing bank needs to transfer the fund to the merchant every party has own transaction fees or own processing fees like eSwing bank have the transaction fee card network also having payment processor also having so all these calculation happen in the clearing process once everything is fine all the calculation is done card network send the clearing file to the eSwing bank after eSwing bank receives the clearing file it starts the set actual settlement process so it starts transferring the it starts transferring the payment amount to the card network so eSwing bank sends the payment amount in the settlement account of the card network after card network receive the settlement amount it sends or transfer the settlement amount to the acquiring bank by a payment processor step number seven after acquiring bank gets the settlement amount then it transfer the settlement amount to the merchant account eSwing bank also update the account statement of the card holder eSwing bank also update the credit card payment in the statement which customer needs to pay settlement process right from step 1 to 8 takes normally 2 to 3 days so after 2 to 3 days only the merchant get the payment of the order in the merchant account settlement sometime also known as clearing and settlement because internal one process also run that is called clearing so in the clearing process the all the calculation happen like how much amount eSwing bank needs to transfer to the card network how much it needs to deduct as a transaction fee how much the card network needs to deduct the transaction fee so this kind of calculation happening in the clearing process once all the clearing is done the card network send the clearing file to the eSwing bank for the transfer of the settlement amount so this is how the settlement process works now i have also explained how the settlement process for point of sale works here you can see at the left side point of sale system so point of sale system sends the batch file end of the day to the acquirer processor you can see the step number one settlement batch file once the acquirer or processor receives the settlement file it starts the clearing process and sends the settlement batch file to the card network and the card network after receiving the settlement batch file card network is do the calculation triggers the so many calculations and then finally generates the clearing file to the eSwing bank after receiving the clearing file eSwing bank transfers the settlement amount to the settlement account of the card network and eSwing may also update the card statement of the customer card network transfer that settlement amount to the acquiring bank by a acquirer processor step number five so after acqu acquiring bank receives the settlement amount it transfers to the account of the merchant so here the the settlement finished so the difference in this diagram and and the previous one is not that much the core concept is same core process is same in both these process uh, for the point of sale or the website 
so that's all for this session thanks for watching see you in the next video